Hi, I'm Audrey. I'm a senior at Mount Sai. I'm Key Club president. And today I'll be reading How to Write a Story by Kate Messner, illustrated by Mark Siegel. Step one, search for an idea, a shiny one. You can write about something you love or something that scares you. She's thinking of horses and their space and airplanes and sea monsters and giant spiders down in the corner. You might write about something you know really well or research a topic you'd like to learn more about. Don't worry if not all your ideas are shiny. Sometimes you have to collect a lot to figure out what works best. Step two, once you have your idea, choose a setting. Only you can decide when and where your story will take place. Step three, choose a main character. That's the person who grows and changes the most as the story unfolds. You can brainstorm and draw your main character if you want. Try to learn all about them before you start writing. Step four, dream up a problem for your main character. It can be regular everyday trouble or something a bit more adventurous. Step five, now it's time to plan your story. Start with something exciting. Make the problems worse and worse until finally your character thinks of something to do. Step six, write your story with so much detail, readers can see it in their minds. When you finish your first draft, take a break and go do something else. Stories need time to blossom and grow. Step seven, read through your story and make a list of ways to make it better. Reading out loud helps, especially if you can read to a friend. Sometimes friends see things in our stories that we don't. Step eight, once you've finished revising and your story is as captivating as it can possibly be, Read through a few more times. Make sure every sentence starts with a capital letter and ends with punctuation. If you're not sure how to spell a word, now is a good time to check. Step nine, choose a captivating title for your story and give it illustrations if you want. Pictures help tell stories too. Step 10. Share your story with a friend, or two, or maybe lots of friends. When your story is over and everyone's gone, start researching, or start searching for a new idea that wants to be written. The end. Thank you for reading with me. I hope you had a good time. Enjoy your book.